Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and today we're going to be going through this building right here. Well, our first video. This is going to be in three parts for sure. There's actually a lot to it. Today we're going to be doing the arena as well as the first dungeon. So let's go in the building. Now I'm going to add also, you may notice I'm using something new. And that is the reason it's taken me a little bit to get to these dungeons considering they're right in town. I've been working on getting a Dratini, and I've spent the past couple days training it, and it's at this point. So, we're getting really close to evolving it. So I figured, let's train it in these places. And it's actually strong enough to take them on. My Trap Pinch, not so much. Well, my Trap Pinch can handle a couple of them, but if it's lucky. So, first we're going to go here. This is the arena. Now, it would appear no one is here at the moment. How this works, though. All around there are these three warps. You take one of them to enter the arena. This is a PvP area. And it's fair game. Now, something I'm going to add. When you go in, to even go in you have to be level 16 or higher. That's your first requirement. Secondly, you can't bring any items that are supplies basically for dungeons. The only items you can bring in are family items and held items. Otherwise, that's it. So, and if you have items that don't that don't work, they'll be sent to your invent. They'll be sent to your storage. So we're gonna go in just because. Now, there's no one to fight, but you can do anything you want here. You can fight anyone around the map. And I should add about the arena. They always change the arena every now and then. Sometimes it's quicker than others. But they always change it in one way or another. They'll change the theme of it, the entire map itself. They'll change the music based on the theme, or just change the theme alone. But it constantly changes. So that's kind of it for the arena. Now, if there's no one to fight and you're in here, just slash give up. If you have any items, don't worry, you won't lose them. Same with anywhere else in the overworld. It's only in dungeons that you lose stuff. And now I'm here... Right here is our Chime Echo. Here is a healing spot. Here is a move tutor for the tiny mushrooms. And here is the store. So you can access all your stuff right here. And since we're here, something about the arenas, or something about the dojos. All three of them have one requirement. No items allowed whatsoever. So we're going to empty our inventory and we're going to I'm going to equip Trap Pinch for this one, though. Let me find him. There he is. Not Burmy. Trap Pinch. So, we're going to do this first one with Trap Pinch. Alright. Bronze Dojo is our first one, and we have to do this one first. Nothing is recruitable here. Just like all three, and just like the other two, there is a boss. So we're just, we're only going to do this first one for this video. And as you're noticing, this is definitely really easy. It's usually suggested between 10 and 15 for this one for training. But, I mean, you can do higher, sure, but it's not going to be as effective. So 10 to 15 is usually what people are going to do for this one to be most effective, but still be able to get through, of course. It's very short. There's only six floors to this one. So it's the shortest of the bunch. Now I suggest any item you find, pick up. Especially if you're going to train. Sorry about that, we had an error. First time that's happened since Tiny Grotto, actually. There's a sparkle. Now, I'm going to have to explain sparkle items for those who don't know. Sparkle items are hidden items on the ground that you can only see through a somewhat frequent sparkle. That's the only thing that gives them away. Several dungeons have these, but most of the earlier ones don't. This is the exception when it comes to the earlier dungeons. Otherwise, most dungeons in the game have hidden items, especially in later floors. These sparkles can be in the special terrain, such as water, lava, or air, 
They can be just on the ground, as you saw, or even in walls. Any dungeon that has a sparkle will have a chance of a sparkle happening in the wall for a heart scale. That's any dungeon with sparkles. So, we're just continuing through. This is at here, floor four. We see a little more difficulty, but not much. It's enough for Trap Hinge to do. Only problem with this one is the sun, which this is home to a few fire types, but also water. So you get both. Not much of a money maker, but it's something. Oh boy. Burned. That can happen. Now there is a beginner's badge. This is an item to be equipped. It is also sold in the Cacleon shop, the green one. It just raises your stats. It's about all it does. But sometimes that little stat boost is enough to get through a place. And I stand corrected on the floors. Five. But if you want to call this a floor, you could say six. So five and a boss. And our first one is Medicham. And just two hits and it's down from Trap Inch. <laughs> That's all there is then. And we go over here and we have a warp. And then we take this one here to get out of the place. Now you may see a bunch of scattered items all around. You can't pick any of them up. You can't even go in there with a ghost. It's blocked off. So get out of here. Just take the warp. And something special about these warps. They take you right back to the entrance. However, if you want to go back in, two things. One... You heal on that bed. Secondly, store any item you got. Or if you don't want the item, sell them. But we don't have a shop in here. So we'll just store that stuff there. Another thing people do if they don't want to keep an item is they will drop it right here. And if you leave the map and there's no one there, that item is gone. I will give you an example. There's no one on this map. We leave. Come back, our item's gone. Alright, so that was the Bronze Dojo. In the next video, we will be doing Silver Dojo. Until next time, this is Richard G.